repairing drywall part three. On this episode, we're going to follow up from two and we're going to put our finished passes on. Once we float this out the second time, all we'll have to do is feather things off and we'll be ready to texture. Let's get to work. There's a couple of ways to smooth this wall out. We can use a good sandpaper, uh, 80 to 100 grit, or a, a drywall screen, which looks like screen but it has little holes in it, and you can just rub that on here and smooth this out. Or you can use a sponge. I like to use a sponge. This one is a grouting sponge. It has a little bit of a rough, rough texture on this side, which I really like, and then you have a smooth side too. So we're going to feather this out a little bit. I'll just take it and rub the edges. As you can see, it comes off real easily. And then I'll work my way down to the center. You don't want to have this thing wrenching where it's dripping water all over. You just want to have a good damp, a good damp sponge. Okay, now we can rub on here. Once we wet this, okay, real good. I can take a drywall knife, a six-inch drywall knife, and I can kind of scrape these high spots and they'll come right off and you can feather it down on the end. You don't want to gouge into it, you just lightly hit it and it'll take those ridges off real easily. Okay. Now that this is smooth enough, I'm ready to make a second pass. Okay, now we just make another pass. And what we're doing is we just feather it out. The wider you spread this, the less obvious it's going to be because it's going to have a slight ridge in there. You just want to feather it out to where it doesn't look like there's a ridge in there. Remember when I told you, if you just put mud in there, you can't go back and paint it because you see this little crack? It's going to crack and it'll also crack anywhere where that paper is torn. So, we put that little mud on there, we're just going to swipe this around here and clean it up. And now, we're going to put a little piece of tape on there. Now I'm going to take a little mud, and I'm just going to put it right over that hole. You can put it on kind of heavy, doesn't matter. Because this tape, I'm going to take my drywall tape and I'm going to dip it in water and get it wet. That way when I put it on here, it suctions to the wall and then the mud can ooze out real easily and it and it gets a really tight bond on there. Okay? You don't have to worry about getting the air bubbles behind it too if you do this. So it's great for beginners. All I do, swipe my mud on there, put my tape on, and then I'm just gonna come back over and put a little mud on top of it. As you can see, this only took a couple of minutes of our time. We're gonna go to the next phase when we come back.